This is the second part of the video on how to recover a Defender Dash, or it could be a Series Dash, a Dash Top, whatever. But I'm going to do something a little bit different because I know a lot of people have got a very short span of attention. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the end result and then watch the video. The simple reason is, on part one, which I really suggest you should watch, and see what we actually were working with, how bad the dash it was. I did say I was going to do it unedited. However, that ran on for about an hour and a half doing the vinyl because we had one or two problems. And it was interesting what we were talking about rather than the action. We were trying to discuss what the best way was to do this job. But it turned out well in the end. So what I've done for this video is I've knocked it down to just over half an hour to do sort of the highlights and even then it's long. So what we're going to do now, have a look at the dash when it's finished, installed and you decide if it was a good job or not. So here we are, that's it finished and installed. I haven't got the handle, the grab handle for the end yet, that's yet to come. But I think you'll agree uh, the repair's gone lovely, absolutely superb. A um, couple of marks on there where I've put my fingers. This all went in, this is recessed really nice, that's gone good. Um, just that needs to be pulled forward a little bit but that's nothing. Um, all under the heater duct works nice, really nice and sharp and clean. Let's go and have a look at the other side. Again, everything matches nice, nice corners, no ripples, bubbles. Well, I've just got to make a ducting to go down here, but that's all. But look at this, there's no holes, it's nice and flat, there's not a ripple in it, look. It's gorgeous. Uh, the only difference is the, the, the leatherette type stuff at the top has a different pattern to the bottom. However, I don't think it looks too bad. And I think the next generation we might put this stuff on the top as well. Who knows? But it does work. So, stick with the video if you want to see how we did it, because we did have some trials and tribulations, and our biggest problem was these little corners here where the screws go in, but we did come up with the fix. So we've got our materials gathered together, which is what we're going to use for this uh, covering. Uh, what we've done, we've got some sticky tape and we've put it over the sharp edges of the front here, because this is very, very thin and it's got a possibility of cutting through the vinyl. Uh, we're going to degrease it using some brake cleaner, just get the dirt and the dust off and the grease. There isn't that much grease on it, so that's ready to go. We've got the glue gun all ready to go. But first of all, Jim's going to explain a little bit about vinyl. Well, a very little bit about vinyl. This is the vinyl that we used for our first dashboard cover. This is a, uh, a vinyl that's an all-weather vinyl. It's UV protected. Uh, it's very good vinyl. And then this is the vinyl that we're going to use on this dashboard. The difference between the two vinyls, they're both exterior grade vinyls. Um, but this vinyl is a vinyl that they use, uh, that's used on uh, snowmobile seats. Um, so, and the reason they use it on uh, snowmobile seats is because it's uh, UV protected and also it's... Um, it's got a, uh, it, it's good for minus 60 degrees. I mean, um, you might not need that where you are, but we need it in Canada. And the good thing about this stuff, it's quite thin. And this stuff, as you can see, it will stretch this way, but it will not stretch that way. This stretches every way. It will stretch that way and it will stretch that way obviously on the diagonal there's no problem so what that means is when we are putting it putting it on something like this we can stretch this all the way around with a bit of fiddling look look at that Perfect. Right, with a, bit, with a bit of practice. Whereas this one, you see, where's the stretch? It's that way. So, 
we can go like this. This is the stretch, but there's no stretch this way. So, so you're going to get it with that. Yeah. So, so that's the trick. You can help this by heating it up with uh, steam is very good, or a hot, hot gun, wallpaper stripper gun. And you can heat this stuff as well, which makes it even more pliable. So that's it, that's the stuff we're going to use. Well there's only one downside about using this stuff and it's the grain of the, the like the leatherette type finish. It isn't the same as the top dash is it? Uh, no it's not the same as the top dash. But um, I, I was thinking about that last night Jim because if it did have a, a very you know coarse grain like we use in the top dash then when it's stretched the grain's going to look all stupid isn't it? Well, it, no, it won't look too, too bad. Oh, well, right. it, it, it wouldn't look too bad. Well, you too don't bad. see much of it at the bottom of the dash anyway. It just yeah. wants to look tidy, that's all. Yeah. So, um, that's good. So now we know what we're doing. Well, sort of. And we're not going to vacuum this. We're going to use our paint roller uh, technique to put this on with. Because th uh, there's, there's a lot of flat surface areas on there. And uh, we're just going to give it a quick go. I mean, this is the first one we've done. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know how it's going to turn out. But we'll have a go. So what we're doing is, before we cut anything, we're going to measure and mark up first. And what we've worked out, we need to put a centre line in, the, in here, halfway down, which is... We're going to allow us six inches. Six inches. So, so, so a six inch cut, so we're going to make it our centre line here. Six inches. Six inches. That leaves me, look, I'll, then I'll check. I've got eight and a bit. So from there... Yeah, because remember that. Bit. Yeah, because that bit in the middle goes up a little bit, doesn't it? it goes yeah. high. So I think so we'll have plenty of bit. Plenty. So we've got enough. Yeah, you know. no, there's more than enough. All right. So I shall take my super scissors. All right. And we'll have a cut. Okay. I think it's best to do it with scissors rather than a knife, eh? Because you can cut the material at the bottom. Yeah. So there we go, that's our piece. So that's that's a spare piece. We'll use that bit for the end cover Fold for the wipe on the water. inside. Yep, so it doesn't so get, get dirty. That shitty. Yep. Sorry, dirty. Yeah. We'll bleep, bleep that out. And so now we need our so plastic. We will go that way. Yep. And then as we glue this on, we're going to start, we'll give this a good coat of glue here and here. We will glue this on using roughly our centre line there. We'll give that a really good glue in there, leaving it a little bit over because you will notice that this is only 54 inches long. And we would like... Ooh, we'd have us a close, Jim. Well, not bad, like eh? 54. I, I don't know where we came up with 58, but anyway. Well, but that's no, going to be perfect, so, isn't it? So, yeah, as we glue, look. Pull. Our centre line is there. Yeah. Right? yeah. We want to try and keep that centre line. Right. And then we know... Then we, we're not going to run off. It's quite important because stretch. Once, that's, once that's glued on... Once it's glued, it's glued. It's gone. Yeah. That, and you see, as you stretch, you see that little hump in the middle there? That's right. We need to pull that either side. But now we know we don't have to pull quite as much. No, as that's right. That's right. But look, see, this is what we're going to... This is the nasty bit. Yeah. Right. This we'll, is the nasty bit. We'll sort that out. I think this is the nasty bit. Mm. Well, I think, that, I think if we leave them bits till last, like we did last time, <laughs> you know, squirt glue inside, and right. I think it's going to be all right. So... So that's how we lay up our vinyl. So next thing is we're going to put a plastic sheet down on top of this wood yeah. and uh, start to glue up. Right, so we're all set up to go. We've marked out the centre lines. We've got our, our glue in our proper upholsterer's glue gun. And now we're going to do some... Oh yeah, we've got the drill to keep, keep the mesh out. Do we want to grab a bit of that cardboard, Jim, and put it under here so we don't get it uh, spread? 
You know, like when yep. you spring it. Yep. We can do that. That's it. So we don't get anything. Yeah, we're going to glue from about there. Yeah, and that's our centre line. And that's your. That's the end. That's the end. All right, let us spray. Oh, I should have tested this first. Looks good. We're only doing this bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Is that too thick? I think that might be a tad on the thicky side. Seconds, eh? It is a bit thick, isn't it? What do you do to thin it down? You move the jet off? Yeah, you want to spray it on. Look, you I cleaned it out. I cleaned it out this morning. I think also you want to, you would like, you, you should try and get it in. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? And you got further that. away. Yeah, because look. Yeah, it's I don't think you want that. No, 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 that's right. But like I said, I cleaned it out this morning, so when we did it the other day, I was more used to the thing. Right. What do you think? Do you want to smooth that out a bit so it's yeah. not so blobby? Yeah. What about, what about here, look? Yeah. That's better, isn't it? Like yeah, a bit further, further, away. further away, yeah. All right. But we know we've got enough, look. Yeah. So we're All right. okay there. Come on in. Right, you just hold those two corners. I'll lift it up. Right. So we get our centre line. Yeah, and I can see that centre line through here. Right, and I just get the roller, which is over here. Still got enough here. Picked up a bit of dust, but we'll soon get that cleaned out, won't we? Yeah, yeah no, that's going to be good. Right, so See, we'll look, look at that, eh? Oh, yeah. That's going to be nice. There's no glue in there yet, so we'll fold oh, it. There's no glue in there. Yeah, we'll just a little bit. Put some in. I mean, you, you've got some well, overspray. Just, yeah? No, you've got a little bit of overspray. Maybe. Do we do want to do this cut? Do you want to do it now or keep it solid? Okay. We'll do the rest, eh? Yeah, but you've got glue in there now. When you peel that back, you're not going to be able to glue it, are you? Hmm, that's a point. Yeah, yeah, we could do. Well, yeah. Let's just do a little mark. The knife's up there, look. See, I didn't put any glue on the inside of this. I wonder if I should do it. So far, so good. Look at that. Lovely. And like you say, the, the filling and stuff like that has come out really Do you really want to nice. do it section at a time? Or do you want to screw the, glue, glue the hole up? Let's do the hole up. Come on. So, we want to glue to... Just onto the corner, eh? Yeah, let's glue up to here and here. Alright. Well, it's going to stretch, so here. So we'll put that, protect our vine a little bit. Come back to about there. Right. 
Do you think we should do the screw walls, as the, the, the cutouts as well at the same time? What, glue it in there? Yeah. I think you could. I think you can glue it in there, can't you? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Alright, so a bit further apart. Uh, apart. Maybe a good idea, maybe do it in a uh, section at a time, do you mind? Yeah, I think it will be. Sometimes it doesn't shut off properly, does it? Yeah. You, you can't push it through. Yeah. Alright. So I'll take... So look, I think it's easier doing a section at a time. Yeah. Wait a minute, let me pull... Have you got the centre line? Ah, no minute. Yeah, I've got the centre line then. Are we up to the glue there? Yep, a bit further. Just keep going here. Yeah. You glue the metal a little bit further than you glue the vinyl. Okay, and in here? Yeah, right, that's it. Okay. Right, that's now, this is a bit tight in there. Yeah, okay, we're going bigger in there. No, I think so. It doesn't seem to want to. Mind you, the glues might be a bit, still a bit soft. But you can see this vinyl is going all over the place. It's, it's stretching any way we want it to stretch. Mm. This, this doesn't really matter, this bit here. It's just I that, don't think so. You know, I think give it, give it a time to tack off a bit more, eh? Yeah. Because it's still soft. This is where the vacuum machine would pull that in, isn't it? See, and this is what we're looking for as we go in, that there's no rip. This is the important bit. There's no ripples on it. No, it's here, good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. So then, we can, and then look, we're checking as we go, do we have enough? Yes, we do. Alrighty. Okay. So, so we're going to go up to here this time, eh? Yeah, and look, this line here, I think. Alrighty. We'll put that so, cardboard in. Put the cardboard. the same with that little there's a little plastic cover that goes over that so that's one's not so bad okay yeah, oh see. yeah see look at that now that's that's tacked off okay that's yeah, going nice it. yeah it's going nice now see look and i think the important thing is like you were saying anything anything you do it's it's the preparation first oh, right? yeah, with your filler and your sanding 
Preparation, ouch. Yeah, there's nothing. You, like the important thing is when you're looking, like look down there. Right. You don't see any ripples or anything. No, 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 we see them here, but. Well, this, know. this, like I say, nobody's going to see this bit anyway. So, but I think the glue needs to tack off. We can always cut this, pull it back, and I mean, what's the glue? Uh, Evo stick, you know, rubber solution glue. Yeah, right? yeah. So no, always... I think I think it's uh, I think it's got to take. It's better than it was. Are we doing the little poly thing? Uh, yeah, no, we have to push that. See, that's a bit a bit dry. Look. What about one of the holy things? Oh, well, there's plenty on there. Yeah. Okay. So do the holy thing. Do the holy thing. Not much glueage there. It's not gluey? No. No. It's funny that, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But once again, you know, we can peel this back. Oh, it's dried. It's, it's, mind you, it's supposed to stick when it's dried. Well, let, let's leave it like that. Okay. We'll concentrate on doing this end. Oh, there's another holy thing here. Oh, but I don't think you glued that, did you? No. no that's not going to glue. Right. So, this is our tricky bit. Right. Now, let's have a little practice first. We've got to come um, around there. Yeah, no, that's going to look really good. Cool. Right. Let's put it, if we can put it on a. Do you want it to come to the corner? What was that? Oh, it's just the control. Sorry. Look, we've got to. Take this corner, pull it over there. Bit this box this was bit. a bit bent. Look at that. It's going to be good. Boy, look at that. Wait a minute. That looks good. That looks. That just looks like a factory one, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. So, well, the way I did that, I, I think, are we going to do this little section? Probably, because that... We Look, we'll do this section, right? Yeah, because we can do the other bit later, can't we? Okay, we'll do this section, then I'm going to pull over there. Right. That's going to glue, hopefully, and then we're going to pull out that way. Look at that. No, that's nice. And then... That's going to just a quick take down there. But more damn, than, look at that. More than, oh, it's, it's too good to be true, Jim. It's, got, it's too good. Yeah. <laughs> you think we've done it before, right? Right. Now, we'll put your cardboard down and... Hang on. Right, I'm going to get away from that thing. Yeah, so do up to there first. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm going to stop. Right. Uh, it, like I say, it keeps spraying after you let your finger off the trigger, right? Yeah. Should we do it or are we going to wait for it to tap? Mm. Well, we've never waited before, have we? No. Okay, let's do this thing. So, just wait a minute. We'll just hold that there. All right. Wait a minute, I'm just trying to think somewhere to put the glue. Daft idea, it doesn't stay. No, you've got to hook it over. Yeah. Just hold that there like that. Alright, I've uh, got the roller up there. Uh, okay. I'm going to pull that over there. Hang on a minute, I want to put, I want to give this a really good pull here. That's what I want to get. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Yeah, it's getting all the, you know, it's getting all the little bits and pieces flat, isn't it? The sanding. Done. Yeah. It's all, yeah, the prep. Look at that, that looks neat. It does look neat. Okay. Too, too good for too good for now. Uh, I think we'll just do it. Just go for it, eh? Just go for it. We'll get the pep, get the um, card. <coughs> just pull back a bit so we get. Or, or just let, lift it up a bit, Jim. That's it. All right. Okay. 
This is it. This is it. We've got one go at this. So, so we'll do you want me to hold over. anything? Nothing at the moment. I'm going to pull. Hold that. Yeah, okay. Hold that one out. Right. Here we go. We're going to pull that around. Look at that. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, sorry. How's that? Bing, bang, boom. Bosh. Bosh. <laughs> job, job. It's getting a bit puckery up here, isn't it? Well, we got it. Look at that. That is nice. It's almost professional. What's that? It's not sticking there. Why is it not sticking there? I, th I think this glue just needs a bit more flash off time, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, maybe. We're rushing it a bit. Just because now we've got to work out these little corners, don't we? Yeah. That's all right. That's good. That's all right, that's pretty good. If I let go now, we're glued. Look, we can, oh, like yeah, it's we, lifting. We're, we're pulling off here, aren't we? So I think we're going to have to just work it until it's... I think the adhesive needs, that glue just needs a, a couple of seconds, doesn't it? Yes, I think it's the application of the glue as well. We want, instead of these globby... Mm, we want it fine spray. Globs that are coming out, a nice even spray. Yeah. I think that would make a big difference. Or like you said, we could even brush it on, you know. We could do. Because anybody doing this at home wouldn't really have a... Well, they could do with an aerosol spray, couldn't they? Yeah. I what was that stuff that we... This stuff does come in an aerosol form, doesn't it? Oh, this DAP, yeah. Actually, that might not be a bad idea. Spray It'd be do... more expensive, but mm. we're not doing hundreds of these things. No, this, uh, this was good for the headliners, wasn't it? Yeah, that's... Yeah, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's just, mind you, that is the hole. Okay, so we're going to come in there anyway. Mm. You know, this was this would be where a vacuum bag would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because it would just, once we've got it, we could well, vacuum, vacuum it. Let's vacuum it now. Hey, what's all this? Oh, I don't know. It's all picked up. What's Vacuum bag. Yeah? I've got some vacuum, I've got some... Plastic. Got, we've got a vacuum bag, haven't we? I don't think it'll go in, will it? Oh no. We'll make another one. Just for a minute. Yeah, I think we're gonna. So we've had a little bit of a dilemma. We've got some bubbly glue which we think hasn't dried. So what we're gonna do, we've quickly made a vacuum bag and we're gonna vacuum it. So we switch this on. Thank <laughs> you. 
cleaner so we can just shut it up a little bit but it's still pulling vacuum that's gone really nice so that, that's the way to do it isn't it I think so but I think we'll, we'll give it a good sucking I think it's alright like that at that speed yeah 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 And so sort of all, we're, all we're using is just a shop vac, we're not using anything special. And we've, we've made a, the hose that goes onto here, we've got some perforations in it. Because if it was just an ordinary pipe it would, it would suck in at the end and that would be the end of the story. I'll show you it when we take it apart. I've got to pause this now because it's a bit boring, isn't it? So we've had another idea. Oh, look at that gun. Just to warm it up with a heat hot air gun. Oh, what a difference.
Maybe if we were to do another one, we make these holes just that little bit larger so there's more surface to go. Just, just make them a bit more rounder. We'll have to just go a minute. So this time we've worked the system out. We've got to brush on the glue both sides and then it really sticks. Now we've warmed this up but this is a speaker panel and you can see how it's pulled right tight inside and all these now have nicely stuck in these corners. A lot lot better than the other one. So I think we've got the technique now it was our gluing that was wrong. So we're going to finish this off and then we're going to box it up and we're going to show you what it looks like. At the same time we did the end cap for the uh, wiper motor cover and the speaker housing. And we had the same problem again. Even though we brush glued on, it still won't stick properly. We, we just have a difficulty trying to get those corners done so what I'm suggesting if you want to watch this video if you want to do this yourself is quite easy we make the holes in the vinyl with a soldering iron I know it sounds stupid but you can't drill it because otherwise you'll tear it so you've got to use a hot needle or something or something hot and poke a hole through where the screws go and that's easy when you do this, just poke it through the first layer of vinyl that's been wrapped over and then using a hot glue gun and make sure it's nice and hot and don't burn your fingers squirt some hot glue through and push it down that's if it doesn't stick now in the next one we're going to do we've worked out that we're going to just before we fold this over we're going to actually put hot glue in these corners to make them stick better because no matter what the adhesive we use glues perfectly on the panel look at that I mean look at the the, the, the finishes there's no warps there's no ripples there's nothing but the, the where the screws go are quite diffi difficult to do so like I say um, if you've just put the skin on you know like you just put the vinyl on the cover just leave this bit open and then squirt hot glue gun glue into the cavity and then push it down with your thumb like that look like really push it tight with your thumb and that will make a lovely finish and I, I can't see I can't see there's anything wrong with that at all it looks a bit ratty on the inside you know we've trimmed it off but that's the only bit you're gonna see and uh, like I say on a left hand drive you're supposed to put the panel here for your lights well we're not, we're not doing that because we've put the mud panel in so that's going to be nice and easy to do so this was actually a right hand drive one so we cut the insides out along here and it, it functions as exactly the same thing so I hope you like that sorry it went on a little bit long but I think you got the picture I think we, we haven't got the price of that material yet, we haven't got bill for it, so we don't really know how much it is. But I'll uh, post it on my website once we get some. So anyway, that was good. I think you can do it yourself if you follow those few tips and tricks. And um, I hope your job turns out as good as ours do. Making Land Rovers better, one at a time. We'll talk to you later. Bye bye.